Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today, we're going to be talking about page 14 in the reference table, the layers of the atmosphere chart. Now, this chart has a lot of information in it. So let's start over on the left-hand side. You're going to see a double scale, which is going to be basically measuring altitude or elevation above sea level. You'll notice on the left-hand side, you have a kilometer scale going up by 10 kilometers. And on the right-hand side, you have miles, which is going up by 5 miles. There's one little typographical error here. The 140 kilometer value should actually be 160. So please make sure you make that correction in your reference table. In the middle part here are all the layers of the atmosphere, the four basic layers of the atmosphere. You're going to read this chart from bottom to top. So we're going to start out with the bottom layer called the troposphere. Now the nice thing about this little section here is you can tell where one layer ends and the other one begins. You can tell the bottom of each layer and the top of each layer. Very easy to tell the elevation in either kilometers or miles. So as we start with the first layer, that's the troposphere. That's the layer that we live in. It's one of the more important layers because of the fact that it's going to contain the necessary gases for us to survive. It's going to contain a tremendous amount of water vapor and has some of the highest pressure on the planet. Above that is going to be the stratosphere. Very important as well because that's where our uh, ozone layer is going to be found. Above that is the mesosphere. That's where a lot of our meteorites burn up. And then finally, if you ever get lucky enough to go to the North Pole or South Pole or in Northern Canada or down to the Antarctic, you'll be able to see either see the Northern Lights or the Southern Lights. Uh, that's going to be uh, housed in the thermosphere. And that layer actually extends well up into space. Well, where one layer ends, the other one begins, there is a definite boundary between each layer. And those are going to be represented by the words with the suffix pause. So where the troposphere ends and the stratosphere begins, that's the tropopause. Where the stratosphere ends and the mesosphere begins, stratopause. And where the mesosphere ends and the thermosphere begins, that's what we call the mesopause. Well, the determining factor where one layer ends and the other one begins is going to be temperature. So as you travel up through the different layers, you're going to get different temperature characteristics because each layer has its own characteristic values. So as you travel up through the, th through the troposphere, you'll see that your temperature drops. So it's an indirect relationship between altitude and temperature. We start at 15 degrees at the surface, and we end at about negative 55 degrees at the top of the troposphere. As you travel up through the stratosphere, temperature goes up. That's a direct relationship with altitude. And the reason why temperature goes up from negative 55 to zero degrees Celsius is because the ozone layer absorbs a lot of the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. As you travel through the mesosphere, this is an indirect relationship with temperature and altitude. You go from zero degrees Celsius to negative 90 degrees Celsius. And the reason why that layer is so cold is because the thermosphere absorbs a lot of the gamma rays and the x-rays from the sun. And you can see that that temperature value is going to go well out above 100 degrees Celsius. That's a direct relationship between altitude and temperature. So the big thing about this part of, this, of the chart is that you'll see the different relationships between altitude and temperature as you travel up through the different layers of the, of the atmosphere. The next section over, that's going to be your atmospheric pressure, and that's going to be measured in atmospheres. Atmospheric pressure is all about the layers of the atmosphere pushing down on top of you. So the greatest pressure that you can get is one atmosphere, and that's going to be found right at sea level. That's where you're going to have the greatest percentage of atmosphere pushing down on top of you as you travel up through the atmosphere pressure decreases, so an indirect relationship. The next section over, that's going to be your water vapor concentration. The majority of your water vapor is going to be found in the troposphere, specifically at the surface, about 40 grams per cubic meter here at the surface. You see you do have a little bit of water vapor in the stratosphere, but that's about it. So again, another indirect relationship with altitude and water vapor. So when you talk about a lot of our characteristics, you want to focus on your sea level. We have the troposphere, which is where the majority of our water vapor is going to be found. We have the greatest pressure here at sea level, and that's where the majority of our weather is going to take place as well. So very important to be able to, to read this chart, page 14 in the reference table. Make sure any questions you get on the regions regarding the layers of the atmosphere, you come here. So that's it for now. We'll talk to you soon.